Hello everybody, Iron Hollow here, and welcome back to part 10 of Resident Evil 4. We're going to... Ooh, I see something shiny over there. Ooh, I see crows. Okay, we're going to continue on route. We're just after escaping the sewer and dealing with Salazar's little bug friends, which I'd say he gets along with quite well, seeing as how he's the same size as them. Oh, I can't go this way. Ooh, pot. It's pot, but not the kind of pot that Leon likes. Oh. Oh. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm just going to assume that they didn't carry anything I really wanted, so I'm just going to keep on the move. And there's the shiny thing we were after, so that's not so bad. Let's see. This is definitely not the sewer anymore. You know, this castle doesn't actually seem so bad if Salazar wasn't such a little piece of shit. Oh, flawless accuracy. Did you see? Wait, it didn't kill them? Oh my god. What? These are some tough-ass crows, guys. You know what? I guess they get to live. Oh, there was still stuff in the fountain, at least. Spinel, velvet blue, spinel. Eh, not so bad, I guess. Won't open, locked from the other side. With a little help from another person, we might be able to get up there. Alright, so it's safe to say we kind of know who the other person we need is, so we'll have to come back here eventually with uh, our good friend Ashley. We'll deal with all these boxes. Man, I did not think that the crows would survive bullets from the TMP. How much health does a crow have? What caliber is this fucking gun firing if a bloody bird can survive being hit by it? Good old-fashioned .001 millimeter round. Actually, this garden's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Seems like the Salazar family had a pretty good setup until, you know, they let that little shit take over. Two stones, or two moons make one. So, okay, we know what we're after anyways. Mr. Kennedy. Still alive, I see. So... Do you like my garden? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here, too. <laughs> Sagacious as I am, even I get lost here sometimes. Even if it takes your whole life, you'll never get out. Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends, like chasing down a couple of rats. Two rats? If one's Lewis, who's the other? Huh, they're an intruder besides me? Maybe it's the bitch in the red dress who saved you earlier. Also, you know what? This garden's not so bad, and Salazar wouldn't be so terrible if he wasn't such a piece of shit, because, you know, he's, he's got his... Little bug friends, and he's got more pets in here. The man's an animal lover, I'll give him that. I'm gonna slap the shotgun on. I feel like whatever's in here, we're gonna want to be able to blow it away. Oh, boy. And I think the only reason he gets lost in here is because he's so fucking short, you can't actually see where he's... No! Down, Fido. I hear more. I don't see more. I suppose we'll take a look at... Okay, right. This seems like... I don't know which conventions this is breaking, and I don't know which animal cr group is going to chase me down for this, but this one's for these guys. That worked out so much better than I thought it would. That was perfect. And the goddamn wolves are dropping ammo. What in this world? Why does everything seem to carry ammo? Ooh, yellow herb. I will gladly take that. I really hate the sound of all that growling around me. Nope. Oh. Oh. 
Okie dokie. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I don't like dealing with these wolves. They are not friendly. What's this? Red gem. Oh, okay, so there was a treasure in here. Naturally, there'd be a treasure hidden in the maze. That makes sense. Let's see what's down this way. Oh, shit! Man, he took that to the face like a pro. Where the hell is that coming from? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Maybe we can... Well, thank God they're polite enough to put their dogs inside padlocks for us to put down. God damn. These things are tough as hell. I'd be kind of screwed if he had all of these running around his little playpen at once. Okay, let's keep on the move. Okay, we'll see what's over here first, and then we'll come back through that way. This is a... Ooh, a spinel. Nice. So there was another treasure in here, just not the big one. At least I don't think you're going to be putting spinels into anything. Or is it spinels? I don't quite know how to say it. Nope. Jesus Christ! Okay. I didn't hear this one coming up behind me. If anyone did hear that coming up behind me, why didn't you warn me? God damn it, why didn't you warn me in the comment section? With your foresight. Okay, so we've gone that way. Let's go back this way, because... Well, I'm sure we've missed something. scared the hell out of me. I think these dog enemies might be the scariest enemies I've encountered so far. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Thank you. That helps make up for the little bit of a gup I've had with uh, petting the wolves. Who would have thought petting a wolf was a bad plan? I'm starting to think Mowgli wouldn't have survived the Jungle Buck realistically. <laughs> the right half. Where is the... Alright, so there's one fountain here. Ooh, treasure. Let's see if we can make our way around to this. Oh my god, really? I walked into it. I literally got lost in the maze. Salazar's gonna have a field day. He's never gonna let this one go. Alright, so we run down here to the left, take a left, then a right, then a left, do do do. That leads to outside. We want to go this way, this way, and take a left here. Okay, so we got the last treasure chest. Whoa, okay. So they can jump walls now. Okay, fair enough. I can't argue with that. Realistically, Leon should probably be able to hop over these, but you know what? This game isn't about realism, is it? This game is about fighting horrific monstrosities that are mutated and trying to kill you by tearing off your face. Or by laying eggs inside of you and taking over your body. Ooh, Jackal, nice. Is that a sign that I should have the TMP out? Mm. 
Moonstone left half. Okay. So I think through trial and error. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Any more? Okay, so whoever told me to take out the TMP, good for good premonition. <laughs> Jesus Christ. At least the game gives you a little bit of an idea of what you should be using in this place. Alright, let's see. Before we leave, do we need anything else? No, everything's locked up. Okay. Let's keep on the move. Won't open. There's an indentation here. Two moons make one. We're going to combine this with this and use it here. The blue moonstone. Okay, I'm going back into the fancy part of the castle. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! You forgot your magazine. Okie dokie, well that didn't go so bad. And see, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get someone to chase you. And that was actually really short, so we're gonna just like forge ahead. And we're going to keep on going. If you cancel the save, any unsafe progress will be lost. Wait. Okay, we're going to just save here then, I guess. But that wasn't very long, so we're going to continue en route. So, yeah. Looks like we found the bitch in the red dress. Oh, there's a save change right here. Game's scaring me. Anything here? Yep. Nobody has a big giant four poster bed unless they're hiding something nice in it. This bed could fit at least ten of those little midget dudes. Oh, our merchant. The female intruder. There seems to be a female intruder among us. We believe she's connected with Sarah. We also believe that she was the one who removed the egg injected into Sira before it hatched. She may have had him retrieve the sample before the American agent's arrival. It's obvious that her objective is the sample, and we must get to her before she is able to re-establish contact with Sarah. The female, the female should be able to answer all our questions. After we capture her, Sarah will no longer be of any concern. As long as we retrieve the sample, you may dispose of him as you see fit. Okay, so they don't give a damn about Louise so long as they get their sample. Is there anything in here? Ooh, a mirror with pearls and rubies. I'm just going to steal that from you, dude. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. None of your concern. Just actively stealing directly in front of the guy who I plan to sell it to. Welcome. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. It's fine. Rare things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? Got anything fun? Nope, nothing. What are you buying? Let's see. Can we upgrade reload speed? No, not the capacity. We're getting quite a bit of use out of this, so I'm actually going to pump that into it. Gonna pump it up to 11 shots. Nice. Come back at any time. Ah, uh, now I feel like I now I regret reloading it just before coming into this room. <laughs> oh, well, you can't win them all. So, let's see what we can see. Guess we just have to continue on route into the castle.
Oh, this place isn't creepy at all. A dessert to cherish the remaining our remaining years. Oh, okay, that's the game reimbursing me for using those shells to reload. Green herb. Bread begins the meal of life. Trying to see what I can and can't interact with here. Like, obviously the blue ones I can interact with, but you never know. Meat to savor at the time at hand. One last drink and the bottle breaks, returning to the dust from whence we came. Okay, that's some creepy shit. No wonder he turned out so fucking weird. What is in here? Can I go in here? No, that's locked. Huh? I need to shoot the bottle or the glass? Alright, fair enough. Am I missing anything, or do I have to go down that way? It says there's a treasure in here, so I kind of want to check it out, but I also don't want to miss anything important. Oh, this. Loot that shit. Ow. Ow, oh my god, what in the hell? Uh, we're gonna combine this with... Yeah, combine it with the hand grenade. Can I pop this lock off? Out of my way. God damn it. Being trapped in a cage with a whole bunch of people with crossbows out on the outside does not sound like a fun time to me. Okay, we're gonna deal with the crossbow guys first. Okay, we're gonna... Mm, no, you know what? We'll be safe. We're gonna just pop this right now. Shit. You know, he seems content to just swing his stuff over there, so... We're gonna uh, take this opportunity to be a little bit cheeky. Okay, he walked back into the cage. Which means I don't think he can get us. No, he could not get us through the cage. I like how the music turned off even though this guy had just arrived. It's like he's not even important enough for them to put the music on. Okay, problem solved, danger averted. How many of you people are in this room? Okay, I'm gonna go around and back into the cage to get that stuff off that guy. Will you back the fuck up? Shit. Oh, crap. Whoa, okay, what are these? That's new and horrifying. They're like face hunters. Okay, so apparently once you kill the host on these, they just pop off. No, thank you. No thanks, bro. Okay, so, the ambush. Guess it didn't go as they intended, but you know what? It still took a fit in my supplies, so. 
Kudos to you guys, dropping a giant ass cage on me as well as a treasure chest. At least I got the treasure from it. Alright, let's see what's through here. Okay, wait, no, this is clearly progression. We didn't check down that other hall, so we're gonna run down there and go and check real quick. Just to make sure I don't actually lose anything. Also, did that mean to open that thing they needed to have someone shoot that bottle with a crossbow? Or do you think they just got one of the guys with an RPG to blow it up? <laughs> okay, wait, this is also... Big open area. Seems to be a fair bit of supplies. Okay, this is another boss room. I hear crows. Oh, this must lead back out to the way where we couldn't get in earlier. <gasps> ah, he got me. Come here, you little bastard. Alright, well, at least we got a chicken egg out of it. That heals for more than their bite does, so it could be worse. I had grown complacent. I had thought I was finished with the snakes, but apparently not. Two rifle ammo. Yeah, rifle ammo seems to be a scarce commodity in this place. Then again, seeing how effective the rifle actually is in damn near every situation, I can understand that, I guess. I mean, it killed, what, the big ganado with saber claws and, like, what, three hits? This looks like an opportunity for a hand grenade. Did I get him? through this door, I guess. Nope, that door is locked. Do I jump down, I guess? There's a rather convoluted way of getting around in this mansion. Imagine needing to find the bathroom urgently. There's a rocket launcher in that? I would like that. Can I carry it, though? Okay. Jesus Christ, could you imagine having to get through this place in an emergency? Like, obviously they didn't have to think that through when they were building this place, because they're evil, but still. <laughs> oh, shit! I thought they were only in front of me. How many are there? Fair few. It says that this shotgun is strong at range, so... I'm just sort of trusting it can actually deal damage to them at a little bit more than point blank. Ow! Why? God damn it. Alright, you piece of shit. I know that was an inefficient way to use my pistol, but you know what? Fuck those guys. Okay, so we can get back up this way now, at least. Okay, we need to... Oh, here come some hard choices. Gonna combine this with this. Alright, can I make room... How big is a rocket launcher, is the question. Gonna move 
this down here. Gonna move this here. Gonna eat this. Gonna rotate this. Nah, there's no way in hell we can actually take the rock launcher. So unfortunate. Let's see. Even if we combine these, I just don't think there's realistically enough space in our inventory to m slot it in. Let's see, how big is it? Wait, this might be manageable. Is this greedy? Yes. Yes, it is. But it's a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh my god, we could take it. But can we take the rest of the ammo? Rifle ammo for sure. Grenade? I don't think so. Pistol ammo probably. Shotgun shells for sure. We're now in the zone of danger. Okay, let's see if we can... Can we go back to the merchant? Because, like, even if I can't take it, I'm gonna just... Uh, I want to sell it. <laughs> it's got to be worth money. There's a merchant here, isn't there? No, it says there's a merchant just up ahead. I might come back for you hand grenades. If I don't, I'm sorry. But let's be real here, it's an RPG. Welcome. <laughs> okay, you're Not literally rare. just here. Things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? Oh, bigger attache Not case. Enough cash. And so the combining of treasure begins. What can we sell and what can we keep? Combine. Oh. Okay, well, we want to keep some of these things. Examine. The pendant of the Los Illuminados. An hourglass with golden decor. Alright, well, those things don't seem like they fit into anything, so we can at least sell them. 15,000 pesetas. You know what? Here, we'll sell it. I'll buy it. I'm so sorry, little one. Thank you. We'll sell these. Is that all, strangers? Is that all? Thank you. Sell this. Thank you. We'll sell the golden bangle. We'll sell the lost ah. illuminados pendant. We'll sell the mirror with rubies, and we'll sell the hourglass of golden decor. Thank. You. What are you bought? Large attache case. Thank you. Oh man. Oh wait, we probably could have kept the rocket launcher. That just like doubled the size of our inventory. Okay. Well, you know what? Poo. We're going to grab those grenades, we're going to save, and then I think I'll call it because this is getting a little bit long. And I just jumped down the wrong side. Actually, nope. I can open the store to the right now. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, man. We had exactly the right number of slots to get the rocket launcher. That was perfect. wonder if I'm going to regret not having it. Nah, there's not going to be anything that I need. Maybe actually... I don't remember what's up ahead. Oh, probably would have been good for a boss fight. But surely all our other gear is just good enough to get through boss fights. Okay, anyways, we'll call it here. We'll see if I regret it all in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you all had fun watching, guys. Iron Hollow, out. <laughs>